This disclaimer was copied without permission. It can't all be about Ola and me getting drunk now, can it? It's time for a rant. Cheers, Quaffers, Gossers, Wicked Sippers and all other good people out there. Hawks watch here. And you might have seen this and you might not. But in Scandinavia, and here in Denmark especially, people are furious about a new ad from SAS, the Scandinavian Airlines System. Now, the SAS is an airline that was until recently operated in cooperation by Norway, Sweden and Denmark. The government of Norway recently sold its shares. It does, however, remain an icon of Scandinavian brotherhood and cooperation, and it began as a joint forces Scandinavian venture into the highly competitive and risky field of airline business back in 1951. On the 10th of February, the SAS released a video ad which was just over two and a half minutes long. Link in the description. In the ad, we are introduced to a number of Scandinavian icons, like parental leave, windmills, rye bread and Danish pastry. And we are then told that these aren't Scandinavian inventions at all. Parental leave is from Switzerland, windmills are from Persia, rye bread is from Turkey, and Danish pastry is from Austria. We call it Wienerbol. That's literally mm, bread from Vienna. The video starts with a somewhat bombastic claim about what Scandinavian culture actually is. Absolutely nothing. Now, this seems to have pissed some people off. The video almost immediately became the target of a trolling and downvoting campaign because of its controversial message. Not much research is needed to conclude that it was primarily the usual suspects among right-wingers that felt like the SAS were shoving cactuses up their bums. These are some examples from the far-right wing party, the Danish People's Party. Link in the description, of course, if you want to test my translations with those from an engine afterwards. One of the, if not the, most melanin-starved region in the world, Scandinavia, seems to have an issue with being told a lesson. Or at least uh, some people have. But it is, after all, hardly surprising that in the whitest of white places where white people live, you can find a few snowflakes. Now I am being called racist for defending the video's message. I'm a racist against Scandinavians, and Scandinavian culture that is. Not that I care, haters will be haters, and contrary to what the SAS is suspecting, I don't think the enmity against the ad was a coordinated attack. Yes, the SAS is actually working from a hypothesis that the downvoting of the video was a coordinated cyber attack. I, however, believe is an example of how much damage butthurt right-wing snowflakes can do when their delusion of white supremacy is challenged. And if you think of it, it doesn't really take that much coordination. One nut sees the video, and that one quickly spreads it through forums and social media to like-minded basement dwellers. It can be spread like wildfire if just a few of the basement dwellers are up to it. Last time I looked, I think it was 680 up to 21,000 down on the original video. That was before the SAS took the video down. Again. Now the SAS took down the video because they did not want it to become a platform for the trolls to further coordinate their attacks. And I can understand that. And I also admit that it is scary that an attack like that coordinated or not, can have such devastating effect. It only goes to show how much power the nutters have on the internet when they're up for it. However, 
I like the message of the ad, and usually I don't like ads at all. But I don't just like it because it pisses off the right-wingers, though. Uh, I do, of course, also like it for that. I mean, of course. The ad ends with a beautiful message, though. That all the good things about Scandinavia were things that were found abroad. When we were out, away from Scandinavia, traveling, and going out into the world to find out about new and better things is something truly Scandinavian. Yes, I don't buy that. Because of course, going out into the world and becoming inspired to do things differently and better than you already do is by no means whatsoever something special for Scandinavia. However, the point still stands. Going out and getting inspired and bringing the good things home is indeed a good message. And I actually pity the uh, butthead wingnut snowflakes that either aren't able to see that point or don't have the attention spans long enough to endure the two and a half minutes it takes before the point is made. But then again, what can you expect from a segment of people who are not only completely incapable of learning even the most oversimplified history lesson, let alone checking their own privilege on even the most basic of basic levels? People who accuse me of hating white culture while they can hardly write a coherent sentence in the white man's preferred language themselves. My point is something to the extent of this. Don't let them get away with this one, follow my link to the re-uploaded video, give it a thumbs up and give the nuts as hell in the comments. As for this video, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, or down if you didn't like it. It all summons the algorithm. Also like, subscribe and share, uh, even if you hated it, because the, the more hateful comments and downvotes this video will get, still, the more it will be picked up by the almighty algorithm. And that'll be all for this time. All relevant links in the description, also to my social media. Always remember to drink responsibly. And until next time, cheers. This is supermarket Danish pastry. I have to buy it in a package of four. How am I ever going to finish this? Ah, isn't very good. No, that's all right. I'll give it, I'll give it three. I'll give it three stars.